Hello Pisces, welcome to your mid-month tune-up. This is for July 2019. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it could be about anything. Uh, love, family, friends, finance, business, career, what have you. Alrighty, so let's get started. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please find your truth? You're listening to clarity and insight for Pisces for the middle of June 2019. Any messages that you have that can help Pisces reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine would be greatly appreciated. What do you see? What do they need to know? What does Pisces need to know for July 2019? Okay, can you please show me what Pisces general energies will be the middle of July? We have the Six of Blades, which is Journey. Okay. And also, I'm running a 24 hour turnaround special right now. If this reading does resonate or you want to get a personal reading, um, if you purchase a reading, you get extra minutes, plus you get it in 24 hours at no additional charge. I'll leave the link below for the special. It ends today, so July 7th at midnight. So if you do want to get it, you might want to hurry up and put in book your reading. Send me an email. Alrighty, um, challenge position, we have the, ch the chief of shields, I would say like the chef of shields, in reversed advice, we have the four of blades, which is the scout, okay, and other things to mention, check out my play playlist, sun moon readings are in there, compatibilities readings are in there, I'm also on social media, Facebook and Insta if you want to hit me up, and then I'm on the Instant Go app if you need a quick answer to a question. On there, it's 498. Um, alrighty, so as you move on from this reading and or, and or into August, we have the Warrior of Blades here. Okay. Um, okay, I, I was like looking at the images a little bit. So here you are sailing off into the sunset with a journey card. Um, so general energies are you are moving away from something. You're moving to a better place. Look at this nice little warm sunset in your canoe. Everything is kind of peaceful. Um, so it's like I said, it's a journey, but it's a journey that's a necessary journey. You might be parting ways with somebody. You might be leaving uh, your place of work. You might be leaving your um, where you're living and you might be relocating. Sometimes it's over water. You know, having some regrets, kind of wishing that things could maybe be different, um, but then you take comfort in knowing that where you're going to is where you need to be, or it's a better situation for you, okay? Um, so then we move on to a challenge position. We have the Chief of Shields in reverse. Um, <clears throat> I'm feeling for like for some of you, you might, you might do this move or this separation or what have you, and you may have um, monetary problems of some sort. Um, you could also might overspend a little bit. So maybe you overextended yourself in regards to whatever you moved away from or whatever you're moving to. Um, and then for others of you, you might just, um, you might just be working too damn hard. Okay. Um, you know, working too much, um, for whatever reason. I mean, I was gonna, you know, say otherwise, but if this is a person that is challenging you at this time, this person is someone who's um, you know, they say they're going to do something. They don't have any follow through. They're not very solid. Sometimes they can be fraudulent. They could be a gambler, um, really into materialistic things. So it could either be an energy, you know, your energies that are challenged to you, or this could be a person that's challenging you at this time. Advice. We have the scout in reverse, which is a four of blades. Um, of course, I'm going to look at the picture here. And I remember what it was, but I was just kind of looking. There's like a locomotive and there's slow moving buffalo going across here. And this guy's kind of watching just to see this whole thing kind of going on. Um, so with the four blades in reversed, you're thinking about something, okay? Um, Think you're rethinking. You're rethinking about the situation, the choice that you made back here. You're rethinking the arrangements. I don't. I don't think that the change came about that you wanted to kind of come about. Okay, um, but I got from this that you're being a little too soon in thinking this. Okay, um, whatever you're feeling, I feel like you're like maybe you're having regrets in regards to this original decision moved away from somebody, something moved in some place, um, thinking that it's not working out, things aren't changing. But I got to get from this to give it a little bit of time. Okay. Um, it, you're, it, I think 
the advice is just just kind of let uh, the kind of the dust settle and acclimate to your surroundings and just give it a chance don't be so hasty to kind of like move back or step back out of it or what have you um because i mean the scout is very patient while he watches to see how this is going to kind of play itself out and kind of what's going to happen um I mean, I'm sure there's many stories to this picture, but that's how I feel. He's patient enough to kind of wait and see, is the train going to let the buffalo cross? There's a lot of stuff going on in here, and I feel like he's just patiently sitting and observing and seeing how it's going to play itself out. Um, so I, I feel like maybe there's an impatience that you want to kind of move out of it, and I think you should relax a little bit. Um, so here comes the Warrior of Blades, and funny because this warrior is holding on to this horse for dear life who's who's going at outrageous speed and he's getting ready to fall off um and the warrior blades can be about a truth that you find out about um and and i am getting that whatever it is you find out about you're holding on for dear life it's very um roller coastery and you're like whoa i wasn't expecting this let me hold on while uh you know, like something startled this horse and the horse took off and you're holding on for dear life because you weren't expecting the horse to take off. And that's what I'm kind of getting. Um, you're just kind of like holding on for the ride. You're like, here we go. Let me hold on for the ride. You know, the, this um, somebody let the worms out of the can. They can't all be put back in. And let me kind of see where, where we go with this. You know what I mean? Um, let me hold on to this until the horse stops. So that's what I'm kind of getting. Whatever transition you have made, I feel like you all are in an uncomfortable place right now, thinking about going back. Um, things are coming up you're not prepared for, and you just have to, like I said, hold on for the ride. Um, why is the journey card here? Why is the six of blades here in the upright for Pisces? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for the six of blades for Pisces journey. Okay, we have the three of swords in reverse. You're moving on, you're recovering from something. It could have been um, either something from your past, reconnecting with somebody from your past. Um, it has to do with somebody you're, with your past. Either somebody you're involved with, could be an ex, um, somebody you reconciled with, and it, it didn't end well. You're trying to move on from your past. So I feel like whatever you guys are moving on from, you're trying to move on from your past, you're trying to move away from it. You need the clean break in order to do so. Um, Kind of uh, with the four of cups here in reverse, you're kind of, you know, wondering if, I mean, I th feel like it took you a while to do it. Um, but I think, I, I think you sat on this for quite a while and then you came to a point where you said, you know, things aren't going to change unless I make them change. I'm not going to have opportunities, you know, I'm missing opportunities because I'm staying in this situation or I'm holding on to this situation and I kind of need to get out of it in order to you know things to change for me um so i feel like that's one of the reasons why you moved away to create new opportunities or advantage of the opportunities that otherwise you'll be missing why is the chief of shields here who is this person with this energy official messages for the chief of shields in the reverse who is this person with this energy official messages please chief of shields okay so we have the two of cups in reversed Oh, sorry, my ear was itching a little bit. Okay, I feel like this is a person. I feel like you have um, uh, different values from this person. You, you two don't see eye to eye. This could be a boss. This could be a colleague. This could be a friend. This could be a family member. You just the challenge is you really don't kind of um, connect with this person, and it's causing problems for you. And it's problematic with the Sun card. You're sort of, um, you know, it's just it's just this thing that you have to deal with. This person's personality, it's something that you have to deal with. It's quite challenging for you. You wish that things could be better. You're trying to stay positive um, in regards to it, but this person is just very cloying and, um, you know, like it's a challenge for you to deal with them on the daily. Um, 
and they could be dealing with you could be dealing with them from a distance like you could have moved away and this person um, is still trying to connect with you uh, the high priestess you have an inability to listen to yourself um, for what the right thing is to handle this or what the right thing is to do to um, take care of this situation so you're really kind of lost in regards to how to deal with this challenge um, for some of you it is it is somebody that you moved away from or it is like an entity that you moved away from and it's still kind of following you or it's lingering or it's still contacting you what have you why is the four of blades the scout here in reverse for advice or pisces who is this person is this energy additional messages Cherry card in reverse. Three of Wands in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so even though things are lacking a direction, they've gotten off track with the Chariot card, which is the card of Cancer. Um, even though we have setbacks going on here, details have been overlooked. Uh, communication problems there seems to be a lot going on so they're saying even though all this is happening just sit tight be patient kind of wait have a plan have a strategy before you move forward um, don't jump into anything and do anything hasty do anything risky I really think the advice advice they're saying is to exercise a, a huge amount of patience before you kind of um, jump into this situation or get into it with this person or um, what have you all right I know that's a little bit loopy it's kind of little all over the place why is a warrior blades here who is this person wants this energy to additional additional messages and i feel like the warrior blades something is going to happen in regards to the situation things are really going to take off and you're going to be like whoa what's going on here i i almost feel like um you catch the shrapnel in a situation why is this warrior blades here in the upright for pisces as they move forward from this reading move forward into Okay, this little, this character here, this King of Wands is playing uh, some kind of a role. This is somebody who doesn't want to listen to what anybody says. He's a little bit of a jerk. Maybe he's treating on people unfairly with the Justice card. We have the card of Libra here. Um, and, and horses run when they're scared. Um, you know, they're frightened. They run. The King of Wands can be a very frightening person. He's someone who, you know, just dominates. Um, you know and can be ruthless okay so maybe this is you know like a scary person and doesn't treat people very well I mean, this is somebody that could be in a position of power um i guess a family member however whatever this person is whatever this entity is and like i said you're holding on to the horse for dear life because you're like well the horse is getting the hell out of dodge i'm holding on to this horse i'm gonna go where he's going um and you're worried about you're worried about falling off too because if you fall off you'll be left behind and you'll have to deal with this tyrant or whoever whoever you're dealing with but um so you're over and done with this experience and ready to move on um because we the world card here so whatever this thing was so you moved away from something you had experiences something came up and you've kind of decided i mean and you were patient you sat on it and then i think a catalyst kind of it was writing on the wall for you and the world card is you saying okay i've had this experience i did everything that i set out to do um i've tried this out it didn't work out for me um maybe it's time to wrap this up and move on to something uh that's more suited to me i don't feel like you're going to go back i feel like you're you you tried something it wasn't the right fit and now you're ready to move on to an, another set of challenges because you've like i said you've gotten everything you've learned everything that you can out of what i kind of laid out here um so you know look look forward to something new new challenge moving forward okay so again, if it resonates, keep a personal reading in mind. I'm running, currently running a 24 hour special. I think there's only like a more, there's four and a half hours left of it. It ends um, today, Sunday, July 7th at midnight. You purchase a reading, you get additional minutes um, and you get it in 24 hours. So take advantage of that. I only run those sporadically once a month. And then other that, than that, check me out on social media, Facebook, Insta, check out my playlists. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and support me if you could. It really means a lot. And otherwise, I will see you all in August for your love readings. Adios, Pisces. Bye.